good day everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i am going to show you how to install kali linux on your android phone it is going to come with all kali linux tools pre-installed and if you're finding this channel for the first time make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications to be notified whenever i upload a new video and without further ado let us get to the video So welcome back. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to update Tamox Terminal, right? We're going to do that with the apt update command. And um, after updating your terminal, you're going to give um, Tamox storage permission. You're going to do that with the command Tamox I can set up I can storage, okay? And you're going to click on enter and that is going to give Tamox, you know, the storage permission that it needs to access your internal storage files. Now, after giving Tamox storage permission, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install a package called wget and wget is the package we're going to be using to import the script that allows us to install kali linux all right so you're going to install wget with the command as shown on the screen now i forgot earlier to upgrade my tamox terminal so you're going to do that with the apt upgrade command okay now once that is done the next thing we do is to um, download the installation script for kali linux and you're going to do that with this command i'm going to be leaving the command in the description below so you can just you know easily get it from there now once the script has been downloaded we're going to give it the permission to execute itself okay and you're going to do that with the chmod plus x command right and um after that you're going to see that the file is going to turn green okay and now you're going to use the command dot forward slash the file name to install kali linux on your phone so as you can see on the screen there's three list of versions you can download the full minimal and nano version i'm going to suggest that you download the full version because this is the version that comes with all the tools pre-installed okay which is option one you're going to click on that and um the download is going to begin okay and you're going to wait it is going to take a lot of time for kali linux to finish installing so give it all the time it needs and once the download is complete you'll be asked if you want to delete the root fs file okay you can click on yes you can click on no if you want to keep the file and that is it kali linux has been installed so once it has been installed successfully you're going to see this message on your screen giving you all the information you need to you know use kali linux you're going to use the nh command to log into kali linux cli and as you can see i am in my kali linux cli okay which is the terminal so now to connect to the gui you're going to need to create a password for your gui okay to do that you're going to use the command kex password as shown on the screen right now right and after this we're going to connect to the gui and to connect to the gui you're going to just simply use the command kex which is kex okay and you're going to click on enter and it is going to launch you on a vnc server okay and it is going to launch you on the port one which is the localhost one okay as you can see 5901 there you were launched on the port one so now you're going to launch your preferred vnc application in my case i use NetHunter kex and i'll leave the link to NetHunter kex in the description below so on the kex application your connection type is going to be basic vnc and the type 2 of your operating system you can give it you know whatever title you like it is optional in my case, I'm just going to name it NetOntakex, okay, or NetOntakali. Then your VNC connection setting, as you can see there, you're going to leave it at localhost 1, okay? And um, the VNC username is optional. And the VNC password, the password you created for your kex earlier, remember? You're going to type in that password and you're going to remember that password by clicking on keep and you're going to click on connect. And that is it. Welcome to Kali Linux GUI, okay? And as you can see, all of the tools is pre-installed okay the password attacking tools exploitation tools all of that and um it is important to know that to use most of these tools your phone needs to be rooted okay you need to root your android phone but if you're using a non-rooted phone some of the tools can still be used but most of those tools need you to root your phone actually okay so this is it you can install you know your coding programs your programming softwares and basically all of that you know you can run your kali linux command everything you can do with kali, you know, kali linux on your computer you can do on this android phone okay and that is it that is how you install kali linux on your android phone the browser is working perfectly fine okay it uses firefox browser and that is it and the most important part it is important that when you finish using your kali linux 
you disconnect your kex vnc okay to avoid you know error when trying to connect next time okay so to simply do this just use the command kex stop kex stop right and that is it so this is how you install kali linux on your android phone if you found this video helpful subscribe thanks for watching i hope to see you in the next video